Oh yes, the 2016 Ford Fusion Titanium edition trim level at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina. They were nice enough to allow me to show you this awesome car. And this one is in the ruby red color, which is just really outstanding. It just pops out on the lot when you're driving through, you see this color and you see nothing else. The Ford Fusion is known for its style, affordability, features, and comfort. So let's take a look at it. I think the best part is the front. What about you? That front grill with the, the lines in the hood. And this one's really accented with the 19-inch uh, aluminum wheels and the four-wheel disc brakes. Now the aluminum wheels have like a like a matte, met metallic look. They just really make this car look. It just accents all the chrome around the windows and all that. You know what really help out right now? would be some tint uh, so if you had tinted windows this thing would be awesome but anyways uh, let's take a look here in the front we've got the projector headlights here in the front you also have fog lights now this one has the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine with the six-speed automatic transmission You see here in the back it has a kind of a low profile spoiler dual exhaust with the bright exhaust tips it also has the parking sensors back here you can see those little round circles along the back of the bumper there backup camera lens is right under here you have the titanium badge with the EcoBoost badge got fusion on that side so let me get the key out. This is the key. It actually does have remote start, which I already started it. And it also has lock and unlock the doors. This is a proximity key, which I'll show you in a second. But basically, to open up the trunk, you just push this twice. And it pops up like that. And you just kind of lift it up a little bit more. And it'll stay up, like so. Alright, you've got a pretty good amount of trunk space back here. And those seats do fold down in case you needed some more space. You got a place for a net to go across the back there. And you do have a spare tire under here. Which not, not every new car has a spare tire, so you want to make sure that you're aware of that when you're buying a car. But yeah, there's a pretty good amount of trunk space. It goes in there pretty far. So let's take a look over here. I've got the key. Here's the key. It's in my pocket and it is a proximity key. So all I have to do is, in order to lock and unlock the doors, um, to lock them, it's already unlocked now, so I'm going to lock them by pushing my, put my finger right there. That locks the doors. To unlock it, I just put my hand behind here. So right now it's unlocked. Push there, it locks. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a real, real faint. Um, real faint when it locks but that's locked put my hand here it senses the key it senses my hand in different positions and it will lock and unlock this also works on the back doors too you see it has the little place to lock it and it'll unlock as well so some cars only have it in the front but this one has it on all four doors pretty cool so here's the inside of the driver's the, the passenger door shotgun door and you can see it's like a two-tone, two like a tan and black. And then you also have some glossy black plastic there. Place to put some 
bottle there and some other stuff your phone and stuff like that goes in there a little ways that's a pretty neat design too and the curvature of the door you also have a metallic accent there you have like a bright metallic and a kind of a gray metallic accents you have the fusion fusion badge there on a threshold power seat on the passenger side with the lumbar support and the seat is really nice looking I mean it's fancy because it has um, this bolstered seat there on the side that kind of keeps you in position also it has um, those little perforations in the leather in the tan leather here's the glove compartment it is a felt line that has a net pocket and it's got like shelves in there it's pretty cool can access your storage pocket and as well as a power supply in from this side. Plenty of leg room too. All right, it beeps to let you know that the key key is not in there. All right, so here's the inside of the back door. You see, you got the same styling as the front, just a little bit less um, less size of the door, I guess you could say. And here's the back seat plenty of room back here do you have the perforated leather seats back here pretty good amount of leg room the leg room the seat the front seats are all the way back so just to give you an idea it's not too bad it's a little bit better when the seats are on all the way back but um, you know it does have plenty of room in the seat so your legs don't stick out very far anyway this folds down which is an armrest and some cup holders you have some vents back here for the backseat driver's climate control plus your power supply down there. And this seat does fold down. Give you an idea of what it looks like now. So that way you've got that extra space. And you have a, you can have a combination of passenger and cargo space since it's a 60-40 split seat. Like so. Pretty decent amount of headroom getting in, the, in and out of the vehicle, which is good. Not fun bumping your head trying to get in and out of a car. All right, here's the fuel door. And it is a capless design. You see right there that you, there's no cap to take off. You just take the, the fuel nozzle, you put it right in there, you pump your gas, and you're good to go. Now, if you need to use a gas can, you do have to use a little funnel that's supplied in the trunk. It's down there with the spare tire. Do you have some heated side mirrors here? And it's two sections. This is more for a blind spot there. All right, here's the inside of the driver's door. Pretty much a mirror of the other side, except for it has your presets for your seat. Um, your door locks are the same as the other side, but you do have the windows for all four doors and the side mirror controls. You can control them there. You got a bottle holder and all that stuff. Fusion threshold, power seat. So right in here, we've got the um, we've got the headlight controls. And so basically, right now it's turned off, but you can turn it to your parking lights. To your regular headlights or automatic to where it automatically will sense the light and turn all the lights on and off depending on you know what kind of condition you're in this button is for your fog lights and these buttons are for controlling your um, interior dash lights this button over here is for your trunk to pop you up in your trunk so let's pop up in the hood and see what's under there check out the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine all right, so the latch is all the way here to the right. You can see it in there. It's a little bit different spot. You can see, you just kind of push it over. So it's right there, a big yellow thing. I'm glad it color codes it. A lot of people look in the center, but it's all the way to the right. Now this is a double latch to it. Has a latch there and there. That's actually the what holds the hood down so it's very secure and everything under the hood is secure all the wiring all the hoses everything it's covered up with plastic though that's the only thing 
So 2.0 EcoBoost engine has plenty of power and really good gas mileage at the same time. So that's what it's designed to do. All right, let's take a look at the inside. All right, here we are inside 2016 Ford Fusion titanium. This one's pretty much loaded up with some stuff. So let's start here on the steering wheel. It is a leather wrapped steering wheel with the bolsters here on the side. And it's pretty comfortable. It has a, a little bit of a softness to it. So you can you can, you know you can grip the, the steering wheel without it you know digging into your bones in your hand um, on long trips and stuff like that. It'll be more, less fatiguing on your hands. So all these buttons, uh, the bunch of buttons here, these buttons are for your cruise control. So you can just make sure it's turned on and then you can set it and then you can resume, you can change your speed or you can cancel there. And on the bottom right here, we have, um, you have a volume button and you can change to the stations on your radio, but also uh, these other, these buttons also serve to receive calls and hang up on calls. So like say if somebody's calling you, once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, you can, um, you know, like somebody can call you and the, the, the radio will kind of dim out and then you will hear a, um, a ringing and you can just push this button, answer the phone, say hello. You just push the button, say hello, and you start talking to the person. And to hang up, you just push that button there. To make a call, you use the voice recognition system, which is this button, and you can say call a number. You can, you know, spell out, say out the number. Uh, or you can say call a specific person, like call John, if John happens to be in your phone book on your phone. Um, and also you can, you know, you can mute the call there or your radio there. All right, so now we have two pads here and here on the steering wheel. And they correspond with, this pad corresponds with that that right side menu and this one corresponds with this blue one here on the left so let's go ahead and start on the right um, so that pad controls this right screen but that screen gives you information based on this screen <laughs> so that's that's how that works and then this one just gives you information about the vehicle here so we'll go ahead and start with this one just to kind of show you uh, I'm going to just kind of scroll up and down so you can see the different menu options there. Now you do have a nice speedometer there in the middle and um, that's easy to read. But we're going to focus on this screen here. It shows your temperature of the outside of the vehicle, uh, which way your vehicle is facing, which is south, and then the time there. So I'm just going to kind of scroll down so you can see it changes color as you scroll. Entertainment, navigation, phone, and climate. And those are coincidentally the four corners um, green yellow you have the different uh, blue you have different color coded on the screen too so your four corners are your four options on your screen and this kind of you know corresponds with that so once you choose like say you can go to climate I can put go to the right and this will allow me to change my temperature and stuff like that and I can go back I can go to the phone and go into there once I pair my phone, there's some options there I can use. Navigation, once the navigation is installed on this vehicle, it does have it, it's just not installed since it's a new vehicle. Um, you'll have some information there, like uh, it'll give you turn by turn directions, that kind of stuff when you need it. And entertainment just tells you what's playing on your radio. So that's the, the basics of that one. So this right side, uh, this one has a little bit more to the gauge to the gauges of the vehicle so so right now you can see it does have a, a digital fuel gauge there and um, so let me get a better angle here so it has the digital fuel gauge and then you can go up uh, I'm gonna go into display mode I'm gonna go right uh, distance to empty 28 miles you can have a rpm gauge with the fuel gauge or you can have rpm gauge with the temperature and fuel gauge and then it goes back to distance to empty and go back out of that go down here uh, this is where you have 
uh, trip one and two, and it gives you the um, it gives you the mileage and the miles per gallon. It also gives you your time, so you don't have to calculate all that stuff. Fuel economy. Uh, this is where you get an average. Uh, you can also get uh, like a real world fuel economy too. Driver assistance. You can. This is where you can turn on and off the parking aid, which is the rear parking sensors, or the uh, traction control, which will um, keep the vehicle from spinning. So let's say you, you get stuck in the snow or mud, you can um, turn off traction control and you can actually spin tires. And then you go into settings and you can change uh, different settings like um, uh, different, like say if you want um, auto, like say this is auto, auto engine off, like say uh, with remote start the engine will turn off after a certain time, you can adjust that, uh, easy entry exit, that means you get in the vehicle by pushing those buttons, you can turn that on or off, also you can uh, make it to where the the, the keys will, I mean, the, the, the locks will lock automatically when you start driving, that kind of stuff. And it scrolls back up there. So that gives you a, just a general idea of what's on that left screen um, and what you can do with it. And stuff you don't necessarily always have to go into and look, but it is there in case you need it. All right, so um, it does have the, this is your turn signal also for dimming your lights. And on this side, you have the um, your windshield wiper controls. But on the back of the steering wheel, I don't know if you notice a little thing sticking up here. There's little paddle shifters on the right and left, a plus and minus. And this will give you the ability to shift through the gears uh, on the vehicle. So when you put it in sport mode, you can literally change right through the gears as if you're driving a manual transmission. And you have pr pretty precise control over the gear ratios. That's pretty neat. All right, so let's look here in the center stack, eight inch touch screen, very nice, easy to read. And like I was saying, there's four corners, which has your four different options there. And I'm gonna go to the little house there, which is the home. And in the home, you can, the top left is your phone. Once you pair your Search phone. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. All right, we're not gonna pair a device now, but once we do pair a device, you'll be able to access your phone book, your call history, Make, it re and make and receive calls here. Also, when somebody calls you, it'll show their picture, that kind of cool stuff. So I'm gonna push the home button here. And um, so the navigation, once it's installed, this is the corner for it. It'll, you'll be able to see your map. You'll be able to put an address and take you to different places, that kind of stuff. Entertainment is here. And this is where you find, there's lots of different ways for playing music through the sound system. AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, USB, uh, Bluetooth, SD card. You, I mean, it's just, it goes on and on. So, and there's, so really, you can play music any way you want. There's lots of choices there um, playing music through the sound system. And it does have a premium Sony sound system, which sounds incredible. All right, so let's go ahead and push this home button again. And it goes back to here. And the last corner is the climate control. And this is where you can really adjust your fan speed, your heated and cooled seats here in the front, your temperature, uh, all that kind of cool stuff. It does have a dual zone climate control. And um, so you can access all that there. And you got some settings in here if you really want to get into um, some more, you know, change your ambient lighting in the vehicle. You can change it to different colors so you can change it to blue and then the darker lighter blue that kind of stuff so that's pretty neat you get a vehicle health report you can uh, change the keypad code um, your camera settings so this is for your uh, you know like your your backup camera or the way you're how you want the lines to, to work out so there's lots and lots of cool stuff in the um, in the settings portion of the screen here, but um, but you know it goes on for forever. So I'm gonna get out of that. So there's your your main features there of your touchscreen that you can kind of play around with and get used to. Now I recommend doing that in your driveway and not on the highway. So, <laughs> anyways, as a safety feature, clock is up here. You have outside temperature here as well. All right, so now we get into some stuff that's a little bit redundant as far, and that's a good thing, 
because you not only have the volume on the steering wheel but you have it right here in this big knob you can seek through the stations you can tune through the stations similar to what you can do on the steering wheel and uh, also around um, your CD player is located here but around that is your uh, climate control buttons too so you have the ability to use your climate control um, on this play in, the, in this location versus the screen you don't always have to go on the screen you can you know just push buttons right here which is a little bit more convenient than actually going in the screen but the screen will give you a quick um, you know view of what's actually happening with your climate control so right now you can see that my my air conditioned seat is on and um, you know it's not on heat and it's not on the passenger side so pretty good visuals there easy to easy to see everything here too it's much uh, easy on the eyes as far as trying to find stuff I guess and then you got this kind of a storage area here you can access it from both sides it's a little weird um, to me because um, you kind of have to reach around the shifter and I don't know I just it's kind of a weird spot for me I, I probably wouldn't use it a whole lot maybe just for putting stuff there to, that I'm not gonna ac actually access very often maybe I'm not sure but um, you know some people may I don't know I don't have experience long-term experience with this vehicle so if you do please let me know I'd really appreciate it and what you put in there all right so here's your shifter so let's go ahead and put it in reverse so we can see the backup camera pops up here but also it's letting us know that the parking the rear parking aid is on as well so this backup camera is right there and you can see it gives you the view from the bumper all the way to the sky so it's a really good view and also um, when you turn the steering wheel it gives you an estimated see I'm turning the steering wheel now it's giving you an estimated trajectory of the the vehicle the reason why part of the reason why is because it is a wide-angle view and it's a little bit distorted so you want to you know get an idea of how wide your vehicle is going to be and also which direction you're going push this button we'll focus in on if you were to have a trailer hitch or something installed um, you can really back up to it very easily all right so let's continue on with the shifter um, go in the neutral drive now this is your normal drive position where you just put it in drive and drive around and don't worry about the gears but you can put it in sport mode which will give you a more what they call quote spirited drive in other words you really want to focus on uh, performance and not gas mileage basically is that what's what's that all that's all about now you can use the paddle shifters if you want or you could just you know drive it just like that um, so yeah that'll really you know bring out uh, the power of the engine as much as possible say goodbye to your gas mileage though while you're in there but if you need to get somewhere fast like the hospital or something uh, sport mode will definitely be your best option and this is your parking brake it's electric parking brake you lift it up to activate it and it cinches down the rear brakes and you push it down to turn it off and you got some cup holders here they do have some self adjusting um, pieces here that you know just for different size cups as you put it in there and then you got this shiny surface around it I'm not sure about the ambient light uh, around the cup holders like I said I have to do an, a video at nighttime with this vehicle so you can check it out so the armrest is here and uh, so basically this lifts up and you have a light in there but you also have this tray that comes out and you can dump it or whatever and then you got this pretty good size storage pin you got a place to put a pin there you got a power supply you also have your USB and SD card inputs back here definitely like the way they have that pin holder always need a pin and you always need to know where it's at so that's a good spot to um, you always know where to put look when you're looking for a pin all right so we do have the auto dim rear view mirror which is auto dimming right now a little bit because I, I guess I have this uh, this shade over the light sensor and you can see that this um, the side mirror is auto dimming as well just that portion so that shade must be hiding this light sensor must be back here so it's giving a, a little bit dimmer view 
from behind the uh, the vehicle. And that helps with um, keeping you from being blinded from people behind you. All right, so right here we've got we've got some lights here, right there, and here, and you can turn all the lights in the vehicle with that button. And then you have um, if you want to turn your uh, basically your interior lights if you don't want them to turn on when you open up the door you can turn that off there you also have a place to put your shades and it's kind of like a rubber uh, padding on the inside a like grippy rubber so and these buttons here are for your sunroof so your sunroof has a shade like so and then if you want to open it you can you can vent it like that. Just have a little bit of air coming through, or you can open it up all the way, like so. All right, and you can always close the shade if you don't want the light coming in. Let's see what the visibility back there looks like really fancy interior with this light colored seating and the black everything else black I think they did a good job with the styling have that wraparound feel All right, there you have it, 2016 Ford Fusion Titanium. If you have any questions, if you have any experience with a vehicle like this, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you have any clarifications, anything I skipped over or didn't get right, I'd like to hear, you in the com hear from you in the comments as well. Thank you for watching, and thank you to Conway Ford for allowing me to share this vehicle with you and the rest of the world. Thank you for watching. See you next time.